Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. Before we get started, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. So today we are going to be killing Seracnus, a somewhat scary mid-level boss that is in uh, Karend. So if you've never been to Karend, then you can just forget about doing this. Um, it's There's a lot of things to know about that place. But um, yeah, so you're going to need 70 plus in melee stats. And it would be extremely helpful to have 70 uh, prayer so that you can use piety. We're going to throw on our best possible melee offensive set that we have. And we're also going to purposely use a crush weapon. Okay, so I'm using the Seracnus Cudgel, but there are far better options to use like the Abyssal Bludgeon or the, I think the Zamorakian Hasta as well. But I'm just going to use the Cudgel because I can't afford the better weapons at this moment. I'm going to have my attack style in strength. Make sure it's not accidentally in block because there's no point. You want to get the strength uh, invisible bonus. And um, yeah, this is going to be our inventory setup. It is just one divine super combat potion, eight prayer potions, the wilderness sword. This is to slash the webs to allow us to get there in the first place, but you don't have to um, bring the wilderness sword. You can bring a knife or you can bring any slash weapon to break the webs. I'm also bringing the granite maul and an empty space. This is so when I switch to it, I'll have two empty spaces to put those two in. Um, but the granite maul is here because the Seracnus Cudgel does not have a special attack on it, so I just wanted to bring a spec weapon. Obviously, the Granite Maul is not the greatest spec weapon ever, but uh, it's better than nothing. Um, and I also have the Xerix Talisman. This is how we're going to get there. And then the rest of the inventory is just dark crabs. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and right-click this Xerix Talisman. We're going to rub and go to Xerix Glade. There are plenty of other ways to get to Karen, so if you, can, if you do not have this item, then just use, uh, you can take a boat here, you can take a fairy ring here, you can use the Karedst Memoirs, you can use the Karend Castle Teleport. There's a lot of ways to get here. You can use your house teleport if your house is here like mine is. Okay, so in uh, Hosidius region, uh, the Forthos dungeon right here. I'm just going to stay here and let my run energy restore a little bit. So here is the Kingdom of Great Karend, probably the best content in this game to be honest. And um, yeah, it is uh, in the bottom left, no, top left, okay. It is in the top left of the world map, but it is a like a standalone island far away from everything else. So to get there, you will have to, yeah. Uh, let's see, what is the, I mean, the, actually the fairy ring would be a really bad option because it's so far away. It's uh, right here, C-I-R. You would want to take a ship from Port Sarum or use the... Uh, Carrot's memoir right here. Lunch by the Lasanliums. Just take note, this item does get upgraded to the Book of the Dead after the Kingdom Divided quest, so it won't be called Carrot's Memoirs forever. And also, that's, this is what I did, the Xerix Talisman, Xerix Glade, because it's basically a free item. Uh, it drops off of the Lizard Men, and then you can charge it with Lizard Teeth, which is dirt cheap. And the Lizard Men you can fight in the uh, Shazian Lizard Man Canyon, so that's where you get that. Uh, but there's also, yeah, there's a Karen teleport with level 69 magic. However you want to get here, though, just get here in the Hosidious region for the Forthos dungeon. All right. So once we head down, there is going to be red spiders that can and will inflict poison. So once you start running, we're going to start running over here. Just turn on your protect from melee. For me, it's my quick prayer because we do not want to get poisoned because I did not bring any anti-poison of any kind. If you're like really superstitious, you could bring anti-poison if you want. Yeah, the Wilderness Sword never fails to slash. We'll take that off, stop wasting the prayer. And we're just going to go south here. Keep going south. There are two players there. I don't know. I've never actually seen anyone else here before, so I don't really know how that works. We will uh, probably just switch all yours. Okay, thank you. Um, so there's Seracnus at level 318. <laughs> All right. Um, so Seracnus is a level 318 spider that, uh, uses ranged attacks when you are at a distance and melee attacks when you are up close. Despite the fact that it is the mother of red spiders, it is incapable of... <laughs> it is incapable of uh, poisoning the player, so do not worry about anything involving poison. So all you need to do is 
enter ranged before you actually uh, slash this web and enter the dungeon. And then once you close the distance, get in melee distance. And you're going to want to stay in that little green circle at all times to make some of the combat achievements a little bit easier for yourself. This is a good habit. Just stay within the green. I'm sure I'll break that rule, but like just try to stay within the green area if you can, just for good habit building. And um, also, once you get it to 66% health, the boss, and 33% health, it will uh, spawn two minions. One of them is a melee minion, and one of them is a... Uh, <laughs> is a uh, magic minion. So when that happens, we're actually going to... We are going to kill the minions. You, if you're really high level, you can choose to ignore them. But um, you uh, you want to keep the prey ranged on because the boss does the most damage anyway. So you're going to... Even though the minions are doing magic and melee damage to you, you're just going to suck it up and take that damage uh, it's just so that you can keep doing range. Or you could get in range of the boss and uh, do melee to protect from two of them at the same time, but I don't really like to do that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go in there. I'm actually going to initiate with the Granite Maul. Why not? I could you save it for the minions, but I don't want to have to worry about too many things. So, also, I'm pressing F1 on my keyboard to instantly go over to the combat thing. That's how I'm going to quickly special attack. But uh, let's go ahead and throw on Protect from Range. Enter through, yes. Throw on Piety. Close the distance immediately. Then Protect from Melee. Oh, there is a... Uh, it's uh, trying to run away from me. Protect from Melee. Throw on our regular weapon now. So I'm going to try and stay in here. Once it does that, so once it webs you, you want to instantly turn on range. And then all you're going to do is close the distance again. And then you're going to switch back to melee because now we're in melee range again, obviously. So yeah, all we're doing is waiting for it to do that. Then we switch to range, make sure sprint is on, go after it. I just realized I did not use my divine super combat. We'll save that for the next kill. So there is one of the minions. We will throw ranged on and start killing the magic one. And I didn't talk about the rewards. The reason you want to kill this boss is because you can get a pet, one out of 3,000 chance. You can get the Seractus Cudgel, which is the weapon I'm using, about 300k-ish GP. And you can also get the Dragon Med Helm, as well as Elite and Hard uh, Clue Scrolls. So close the distance, melee on. Also, if you get Seractus as a Slayer task, make sure you have the uh, Slayer helmet on. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I meant to do Prayer Pot. Now, in my uh, previous two, and actually my previous three boss guides, I did um, do the combat achievements but that was purely because like giant keys and mossy keys are sort of annoying items to farm for so i wanted to like teach you how to do it the first time but like this is a boss that you can fight an infinite amount of times whenever you want there's no restrictions whatsoever so i don't really feel as i don't feel as necessary to tell you about uh, the combat achievements because you can just do it whenever you want and really i make my guides for you know people who just are ca i make casual guides because I'm a casual player myself, so yeah. But I wanted to make sure I got those combat achievements in the last video because I don't ever want to have to like kill kill giants and mossy giants again. So it does have 400 HP, so it is taking quite a while to kill. All right, disable your prayers. It will respawn pretty quickly, so get your loot fast and decide if you want to go again or not. Okay, so. We got egg potatoes, but those are not noted, so I'm not going to keep that. Okay, let's fight it again, though. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and Divine Super Combat, which will minus 10 my health. It does not... Oh, it actually does reduce your health. The wiki was not helpful then. So you'd want to bring a super... I should have brought one super store then, just because it does actually reduce it. Or no, no, it doesn't, does it? I think it... I actually don't think it does. I think we can eat to full. Yeah, yeah, we can eat to full. Okay. I'm sorry I blamed you, Wiki. It's not your fault. Okay. 
I forgot I don't need to press F1 because I can just, uh, I'm not in the wilderness. That's what I'm used to using the granite mall, which the special attack doesn't work there. Come on, attack. Why aren't you attacking? A lot of retaliates on. So we're going to kill the minions. Again, if you're feeling like a Chad, you can just ignore those minions and just go beeline it for the boss. But I prefer to play it a tiny bit safe. Whoops. For some reason, I thought I had ranged on. See, I am not some PVM god or anything. So you will, make, you will see me making a lot of mistakes. I'm waiting to drink pots uh, and eat food when I have downtime, like when I'm webbed. Because I don't really want to waste ticks, you know? It's like now's a good time to drink a pot because I'm stuck. I could probably beeline it for the boss at that point, but whatever. Alright. See the, the POD helps with um with all the mistakes I'm making as well because it just increases your defense passively as well. Alright, we will do one more kill. Hopefully I can do a tiny bit better than my previous kills. Tattered Temple Page. I can't remember if I can actually make use of that or not. All right, let's see if I can do a tiny bit better. So far, already better. But yeah, I'm just doing multiple kills right now just to show you that you can stay here for multiple kills. You do not need to bank every single time. So after you, um, so after you decide you want to leave, you want to know that you want to leave before you've actually ended this fight, okay? Because if it, it will interrupt you, like Seraphim spawns really quickly, and it will interrupt you as you're trying to do your teleport. I have a particularly slow teleport to use today which is the Xerix Talisman again, just because I want to save inventory space. So I need to like be fast and get ready to get out of here. Uh, you just saw it healed. So if it does successfully hit you um, without using prayer, it will, um, it will restore a little bit of HP. So it does punish mistakes. If you feel like you're not hitting that much, you could switch to the accurate attack style. All right, hoping to not have to use another prayer pot. Would like to keep it, would be nice.
Boom. Okay. So pick up the loot and get out of here pretty quick. That's that's what we're doing now. Soul ruins. Interesting. So we're gonna right click, rub, and just press one because honestly, who cares where you go, right? You just want to get out of there. So that is how you kill Sarachnus. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck getting the pet, and I will see you next time.